Hey, this is Allie, and I am super excited to take a couple minutes today to introduce you to this year's Week in the Life kit. Uh, what you see right here are the two album choices that we have. There is a gray stories album and a black and white day of the week album. Both of them come with um, all of the page protectors that you'll need to um, complete the project in a similar way that I do. There's eight uh, six by eight pages and there are seven of the three by eight page protectors. There are seven of the four up three by four. Get through all those. There are seven of the two up four by six. And then we've got two of the two by two pockets, which are really fun to add in for a couple of the days of the week there. So the uh, page protectors already come inside the album. And let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the kit here. For those of you that ordered, pre-ordered, these should be shipping separately and you should be starting to receive those as well. There are seven of those, one for each day of the week and they turned out really great. Um, for those of you that start on Monday like I do, I'm just putting the Monday in the front and then the Sunday in the back. The Sunday tab is actually the first one, but in my album I'm just laying them in there uh, that way. I'll probably, I haven't done this yet, but I'm pretty sure that uh, before I actually, before the week starts, I'll go through and kind of get it in the order that I want it where each page uh, protector is going to go. I just follow the same um, basic design formula throughout the whole thing. Okay, then let's take a look at the products that we've included in the kit. They come in this really fun envelope and let's pull everything out. I think probably what I'm planning on doing, and some of you guys I'm sure have thought of this already, is taking this pocket the or the envelope and punching holes in it, because it should be able to fit, I think, in the album itself. And I'll probably just use one of these, like one of the page protectors or something, as, um, as a guide for punching the holes, and then it should be able to fit right in the album itself where you could put additional um, things that you collect over the course of the week, ephemera, that kind of thing. Might stick out a little bit on the top. I'm not really too worried about that, um, but I would want it to be up off the bottom. So just something to think about as you're kind of collecting your stuff. You could also probably adhere it on the inside cover uh, if you wanted to, then it would stick up a little bit um, like that over the top. Actually, I think that you can Fold it down a couple as well. So lots of options there for figuring out how you want to set up the album itself. Inside the kit then, we've got the star washi tape. This is just a gold star, um, super cute. We have a package of chipboard pieces. I'm just gonna open these all up. This is a fresh kit there. So a variety of chipboard pieces in different colors hearts, stars, arrows, some that are printed with the days of the week, geotags, just things that I regularly use or what, what we decided to include in there. So we've got that nice little set. Then we have uh, days of the week, wood veneer. Let's pull those out. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And these ones, you know, you can paint, you can um, leave them as is with the wood, which is probably what I would do. Um, that's generally kind of how, how I roll, but you can also um, paint them or spray paint them, or you could emboss them, lots of different options there. Then we have the numbers. I usually just number my days, like day one, day two, just a cute white, plastic acrylic from zero to nine is what's included. Then we've got the stamp set, and this is just a super, I always say the word basic, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I mean, um, versatile is really the word that I should be using, uh, that include words that I like to use in documenting this kind of project. So overheard, thankful, food, observations, loving, right now, eating, currently, the story of today, so awesome, watching, everyday stuff, this, around here, daily, good day, hard day, this week, reading, and life looks like this. Um, so definitely ones that you can use within this project for capturing a week in your life 
life, but also if you do project life or any other, you know, daily documentation, those are going to work great for that. Um, there's a, uh, just a set of alphabet stickers in white, which I always like for putting right on top of my photos. Then there is also a sheet of label stickers um, with a variety of different patterns that coordinate with the other things that we have going on in the kit. Then we have a package of the perforated strips. We included one like this last year, and it's been one of my personal favorite things. You just tear them off. This year we did cream with gold. Again, sentiments that are really universal for everyday uh, kind of documentation, and I loved just tearing those off and adding them onto my photos. Uh, last year I did a lot of that in my album. Then we have these, um, I guess you call them perforated labels that say remember currently around here, today you love this, loving, overheard, this and that. Um, I'm planning that I'll probably use these on top of three by four or in the three by four slots uh, on top of a three by four card, but they're in a fun um, bright yellow color to go along with this year. And then the last thing that we've got included in there is the three by eight paper pad. And you can see it's a nice, big, thick, um, combination of a lot of different things here. So this is the kind of thing, it's three by eight, and so you'll cut them to create your three by four cards. But there's each day of the week, so Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so those Saturday, Sunday as well, matched with just really nice, um, simple patterns in there. Okay, and also journal cards too that can be filled in. So stuff like favorites, um, some of these are, are leading types of journal cards. Uh, status report, today's weather, you could include that one in there. You know, what are you loving? What are you wishing? What are you thinking? What are you making? What are you doing? What are you cooking? Uh, some just simple cards that you can add in. What are your observations? Um, he said and she said, your top 10 for the week or top 10 for the day. Um, no Place Like Home, the story of this week. And then we have full page um, three by eight that fit great into the three by eight page protectors, three by eight patterns that you can include in there. Last year I did a lot of, I did three by eight photos and then some I did journaling on the other side. We also have, in addition to those patterns, our, um, these timeline cards that you can do for each day that just slip in to the three by eight page protectors where you can write in, you know, morning, afternoon, evening. Maybe it's like what you ate each day or um, your favorite thing from each day. And there's seven of those uh, to be able to add right into the album itself. So this year I'm gonna be doing this project um, starting on August 17th. So that's coming up in a couple weeks. Obviously there's no, you, know, you don't have to do it the same time I'm doing it. It's fun to do it around the same time together. So feel free to do it before or after, depending on what works best um, for you and your schedule. When I do this, I'm generally trying to, you know, document an average, and I always put average in quotes, uh, week in our lives. For us, it's still gonna be summertime, and that was one of my things that I wanted to document this year, is kind of what's our average summer uh, week look like for this year, so that's what I'll be focusing on. Um, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to join the Week in the Life um, free community that has a message board and gallery, a uh, great place to ask questions as well. We've still got some of these kits available if you're interested in ordering one. So hope you guys have a great day.